Back pain is most common chronic pain. Back pain is a broad topic with many potential causes. Underlying cause can be any from mild inflammation to life-threatening cancers. So identification of the reason of back pain is the first step. Lumbosacral muscle strains, strains. Lumbar strain accounts for 70% of mechanical low back pain. So it is very common. Follows traumatic incident or repetitive overuse. Muscle strains and tears most frequently result from a violent muscular contraction during an excessively forceful muscular stretch from lifting heavy objects or sudden twisting motions. Pain worse with movement better with rest. Restricted range of motion, tenderness to palpation of muscles. Treatment. Staying active and avoiding bed rest is recommended. It helps faster recover. Bed rest may further prolong pain. Sprain and strain is commonly treated with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication if the pain is mild to moderate. Lumbar spondylosis. Spondylosis is the degeneration of the vertebral column. Presentation. Patient typically is greater than 40 years old. Pain may be present or radiate from hips. Pain with extension or rotation. The neurologic exam is usually normal. More than 80% of individuals older than 40 years have lumbar spondylosis. Treatment. In mild cases, physical therapy can be effective. Moderate to severe cases, surgery is recommended. One leg hyperextension test is used to identify lumbar spondylolysis. The patient stand on one leg and, while being supported by the provider, have them hyperextend their back. If pain occurs, test is positive. One leg hyperextension positive test means likelihood of lumbar spondylolysis or small fractures of facet joints in the back of the spine. Disc herniation. Presentation pain may include paresthesia, sensory change, loss of strength, or reflexes of the muscle, depending on severity and nerve root involved. The type of disc herniation is sciatica. During sciatica pain going down the leg from the lower back. Onset is often sudden following activities like heavy lifting. Gradual onset may also occur. The pain is often described as shooting. A straight leg raise test is used to identify nerve root irritation or disc pathology. The patient is positioned in supine. The clinician lifts the patient's leg to 30 to 70 degrees. Leg pain at less than 60 degrees is a positive test, and lumbar disc herniation is likely. Treatment. Most cases treated conservatively with physical activity and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. In severe cases, surgical treatment is recommended. Back pain due to infection is likely. Patient has history of intravenous drug use, immunosuppression, prior lumbar spine surgery, fever, wound in the spinal region, localized pain, and tenderness. Neurologic cause, when motor or sensory loss is progressive, new urinary retention or incontinence, new fecal incontinence, cancer, if patient has history of metastatic cancer, unexplained weight loss during physical exam, focal tenderness to palpation in the setting of risk factors. Last three above mentioned represent red flags infection, neurologic and malignancy, and requires further investigation. If no red flags are presented, treatment mostly conservative, generally. Non-pharmacologic interventions such as exercise, traction, and spinal manipulation have shown some benefits. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, have moderate evidence of benefit. Acetaminophen, diazepam, and systemic steroids do not seem to provide benefits. Gabapentin is a very commonly used anticonvulsant for chronic pain. However, it has not demonstrated a significant benefit for patients with chronic low back pain.